You are watching Sean's View Entertainment. Entertainment at its best. On a day where Shane McMahon survived a helicopter crash. On a day where we heard Brock Lesnar will lose the Universal title at SummerSlam only to hear that, well, he's going to stay and remain in WWE. Or, well... Really or not, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of doubt, there's a lot of backlash. There's a lot of people that think that there's going to be something more going on. Brock Lesnar dropped the title, but leaving WWE, not going to UFC, there's a lot of conflicting reports, there's a lot of going back and forth. Shane McMahon has crashed and burned a lot. Shane McMahon has taken a lot of chances and a lot, a lot of opportunities in the WWE. He's come off cells, cages, top ropes, stages, Titan Trons, but today Shane McMahon could have lost it all. Thank God he's all right. Thank God he, uh, Shane McMahon is one tough SOB. And uh, I can't even believe and I can't even imagine what Shane McMahon was going through at that time and at that stage, knowing that that airplane was coming. It was going down and, you know, it, it reminds me of that movie with Tom Hanks. I think it was Tom Hanks, that movie that came out what, one or two years ago. But thank God Shane McMahon is okay. It's also good to know that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the brass Sean Entertainment. How do you like my new intro? On here, right here on Show and View, we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. We talk about the news and the rumors and headlines. So there's a lot of things going on about Brock Lesnar right now. John Cena, Battlegrounds not doing too, too good as it concerns ticket sales. But Raw and SmackDown doing good in the viewership this week. Got to give a big ups to them. But WWE Battleground, Philadelphia, you know, usually a packed house, very popular. A lot of momentum. John Cena is actually urging people to go to this event. Uh, you know, you got the Punjabi prison match, you got a flag match. It's like it's just it's like kind of like a throwback. It's kind of like an old school pay per view. But Philadelphia, for some reason, they they aren't just they aren't digging it. Um, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of news today, but obviously the breaking news was Shin McMahon and this whole Brock Lesnar thing. Is he losing at SummerSlam? Is he winning? Is he staying in the WWE? Is he leaving the WWE? What the heck is going on? I quite frankly don't know. But here on Sean V I want my viewers and my subscribers to know that I am always here for you. And once again, do you appreciate the new intro? Make sure to share my views and like my official Facebook fan page. And we um, here on Show Entertainment appreciate the va the values, the beliefs, the comments, whether positive or negatives, whether for me or against me, because that's what it means to me. So Show Entertainment wants to know, what are your thoughts on Shane McMahon? What are your thoughts on Brock Lesnar? What are your thoughts on the SmackDown and Raw ratings? Uh, seeing a positive, seeing an up. And on NoDQ.com, Raw and SmackDown, which was the better show? They were pretty damn neck and neck. It was very close. So it's just getting intense, the competitive spirit. WWE is getting a little bit better. A little bit better. We now know that, you know, there is no number one contender because Braun Strowman ruined that. We know that Kurt Angle has that son now. We know he has an illegitimate son. Uh, I think they could have went about that a better way. I think that kind of fell off the radar. I think WWE could have been a little bit more compelling and intriguing, a little bit more creative with that whole Kurt Angle situation. But it is what it is. We'll see how it plays out. Um, you know, there's a lot of variables going into this. There's a lot of talk about Brock Lesnar. There's still a lot of talk about CM Punk, quite frankly. Um, but if there's any more rumors, news, and headlines, I will bring it to you right here. We'll cross that line here on the brass. Sean's View Entertainment, thank you for tuning in once again. And uh, your thoughts and your comments on Shane McMahon's near-fatal crash. And it certainly wasn't as brash. Well, it was pretty damn brash because he survived, so that's good. Um, but um, that, that was definitely terrifying, and uh, I wanted to get all the details and all the news on that one. But, um, yeah, UFC squashes the whole Brock Lesnar, him going back there. And, you know, we know Brock Lesnar failed it, and we know that Randy Orton poked fun at that. And then Rusev poked fun at Shane McMahon and the uh, accident, the helicopter incident that he had. Now, that's where you take real life and develop it into a storyline, but then people go nuts. I mean, look at it, and now that Shane McMahon's okay. He survived. He, you know, he didn't get killed. Now Rusev can make a story out of it. Now Rusev can put more light on him. Maybe this can make Rusev look better. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Your comments and your opinions on what Rusev did after the fact that Shane McMahon was okay and all right and good. Maybe this will develop into a rivalry, a feud of sorts. Who knows? And then what about John Cena and Randy Orton team up, teaming up after SmackDown Live? Even rumors that John Cena and AJ Styles are going to have a match at SummerSlam for the United States Championship. Rumors that John Cena and AJ Styles will win the SmackDown WWE Tag Team titles for a short stint before SummerSlam. I don't know how true that is. But here on Show and View, smash that bell, subscribe, and leave your comments for around-the-clock rumors, news, and headlines in WWE. Subscribe today.